foundations of our biggest buildings, but they cannot touch the foundation of America. These acts shatter steel, but they cannot dent the steel of American resolve. America was targeted for attack because we're the brightest beacon for freedom and opportunity in the world, and no one will keep that light from shining. Today, our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature, and we responded with the best of America, with the daring of our rescue workers, with the caring of, for strangers and neighbors who came to give blood and help in any way they could. Immediately following the first attack, I implemented our government's emergency response plans. Our military is powerful and it's prepared. Our emergency teams are working in New York City and Washington, D.C. to help with local rescue efforts. Our first priority is to get help to those who have been injured and to take every precaution to protect our citizens at home and around the world from further attacks. The functions of our government continue without interruption. Federal agencies in Washington, which had to be evacuated today, are reopening for essential personnel tonight and will be open for business tomorrow. Our financial institutions remain strong and the American economy will be open for business as well. The search is underway for those who are behind these evil acts. I've directed the full resources of our intelligence and law enforcement communities to find those responsible and to bring them to justice. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbor them. I appreciate so very much the members of Congress who have joined me in strongly condemning these attacks. And on behalf of the American people, I thank the many world leaders who have called to offer their condolences and assistance. America and our friends and allies join with all those who want peace and security in the world. And we stand together to win the war against terrorism. Tonight, I ask for your prayers for all those who grieve, for the children whose worlds have been shattered, for all whose sense of safety and security has been threatened. And I pray they will be comforted by a power greater than any of us, spoken through the ages in Psalm 23. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. This is a day when all Americans from every walk of life unite in our resolve for justice and peace. America has stood down any enemies before, and we will do so this time. None of us will ever forget this day, yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good and just in our world. Thank you, good night, and God bless America. 343 firefighters we lost on that day. Uh, 24 New York uh, police officers, 37 Port Authority police lost that day. I'm not sure if you recall where you were. I recall exactly where I was at the time. I was uh, living with my brother. He was uh, he was helping me out at, at, at the time. Actually, it was during the same era where I was uh, fighting for my daughter and uh, at the time I had just recently gotten in, in, in engaged and I can remember sitting in his kitchen sitting on a sitting on a stool with the the countertop right in right in front of me I had just recently walked in the door from from work I worked through the night I did janitorial work I worked for FedEx as well and so I was just kind of relaxing before I would actually go to sleep because I had been working all night. And then I turn on the, the television and I'm, I'm sitting there, sitting there watching the television. And I, I, I'm talking to my then fiance, now wife, and, 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 and all of a sudden, boom, it hits. And, 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 and I'm, in, I'm, I'm sitting there in disbelief. I'm like, what, did you did you see did you see that? And she's like, see, see what, see what? And I was like, turn on your TV. A, a, a plane just crashed into one of the trade towers in New York. And automatically, I felt 
just suspicious. I wasn't sure. I was like, maybe, maybe this is a crazy accident. Maybe it's just a freak accident. But it wasn't long after the second flight hit. And then we all knew what was happening. American Airlines Flight 11, a Boeing 767 aircraft departed Logan Airport at 7.59 a.m. en route to Los Angeles with a crew of 11 and 76 passengers. The hijackers flew the plane into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City at 8.46 a.m. at roughly 466 miles per hour. Uh, it hit between the floors, floors 93 and 99. The aircraft entered the tower intact. It plows through uh, the building's core, severing all three uh, gypsum and case stairwells, dragging combustibles with it. A powerful shockwave travels all the way down to the ground and up again. United Airlines Flight 175, a Boeing 767 aircraft departed Logan Airport at 8.14 a.m. en route to Los Angeles with a crew of nine and 51 passengers. The hijackers uh, flew the plane. Excuse me. The hijackers flew the plane into the South Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City at 9.03 a.m. at about 590 miles per hour between the floors 77 and 85. All 65 people on board the aircraft die instantly on impact. And unknown hundreds in the building as well. By this time, several media organizations, including the three major broadcast networks who have interrupted their morning shows or covering the first plane crash as billions see the impact of Flight 175 live. Parts of the plane, including including the starboard engine, leave the building from its east and north sides, falling to the ground six blocks away. American Airlines Flight 77. A Boeing 757 aircraft departed Washington Dulles International Airport at 8.20 a.m. en route to Los Angeles with a crew of six and 53 passengers. The hijackers flew the plane into the Pentagon in, Ar in Arlington County, Virginia. That was at 9.37 a.m., crashing into the western side of the Pentagon at 530 miles per hour. And that starts a violent fire. You're going to hear more audio shortly. And then I'll go on and I'll tell you about United Airlines Flight 93. This is, uh, we are remembering 9-11. This is the 20-year uh, anniversary we're coming up on and uh, i encourage every one of you to go out tomorrow commemorate it remember it in your 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 own special way whether it's an event whether it's hanging a flag outside your house and on your car uh, this is the larry elder show i'm carl jackson we'll be back short <laughs> Trying to get the people as fast as we 